up guys welcome to a new video on the channel since a lot of you wanted a GUI guide tutorial here we are in MAS a GUI guide tutorial thing so let's hop straight into it I have some GUI prepared for y'all so the first one is the normal GUI you just make insert GUI It'll show up GUI brick. You know, it's invisible at first. You make it visible by clicking on create GUI object. And then it's on one side right here. Now at the start you'll see text lorem ipsum. It's just the basic text. You can change it to whatever you want. So we can make it say hi. Now what can we do with this beautiful text that says hi? The BG is everything it's the background all right bg is short for background so background transparency you can make it 0.4 and the color we're gonna make it pink pink background now we the transparency and the colors are always for the text and bg is always for the background you can change the GUI type up here to surface and billboard. Billboard will always show to the screen, but buttons don't work like this. They have to be surface GUI. Um, corner radius is basically how round you want your corners, like 200. And automatic text size, the text will size automatically like this. Um, font is just changing the font of the text. Beautiful. You can't change the text size if you have automatic text size on true. Mm, but it basically just changes the text size like to 100. And this is 100. This is automatic. You see the difference. Color, we can make it. What's the color sign? All right, pretty good. You can have multiple GUI objects, apparently. I don't know why. It doesn't show up. Strange. So that's pretty easy. Now you can change the type. So currently it's text. We can make it a text button. Signal class ID 1. I have 1 prepared. What does this mean? If we click the GUI, we jump, all right. Because it sends to the executor, executor jump player, player of the one that clicks the GUI, and jump player. We can make it an image. Um, for the image, you basically just insert an image right here. I got an image saved right here. The image of the cubes. Alright, we're gonna make the color. Yeah. That looks good. So image GUI. You can almost always make it an image button. So it's instead of text button, it has the same function, but just with an image, so if we click, we jump. Pretty easy, right? Now you can also use GUI to have titles because they removed the title command. How it worked previously, you just say title me and then whatever you want to be titled now it's a class id so this gui object is billboard gui um text and it has the class id 2 so you just say title me 2 now you have the title owner or i don't know builder or script or whatever it all runs through roblox roblox moderation so it can get tagged, like if I say this, it might get tagged. Oh, it didn't get tagged. Maybe we can say from really big number. Yeah, see, it got tagged. So it can get tagged. Because it all runs through Robux, Roblox moderation, not Robux, bro. Oh my lord. Well, that's basically all there is about GUI. Remember that if you want to make a button, a text button, 
it has to be a Surface GUI, not a Billboard GUI, because Billboard GUI buttons don't work. You can see it right here, it doesn't work. I'm clicking, I can even make the frame visible. It's not gonna work. But if we make it, um, if we make it, oh no, text button and Surface GUI, it will work. That's pretty easy. Um, I don't know why you guys needed this tutorial. So many people said, hey, I want the GUI tutorial. Here you go. <laughs> That's all I know about GUI. Now you can combine GUI to say more and for the text to not mess up because the text sometimes messes up with the automatic text size. You know, I can say a word. Hi. Hi. Okay, highlight, and it'll get cut off. So this pretty much sucks if this happens. You can just add more GUI. Um, I'm not really a GUI expert, so this is all I know about GUI. I guess that's it. I hope this guide was helpful for you. And yeah, see you on the next one.